In today's Tinkercad tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can create an object like this in Tinkercad. I didn't actually create this, folks. I found it on the web, imported it, so it is a fully modifiable 3D object in Tinkercad. See, I can make it taller, I can make it wider, I can rotate it. All right, enough. How do you do this? I'll show you. Let me clear my work plane. Goodbye, airplane. How does it work? Well, here's the deal. It all starts by finding a good image. Your best bet is to search for what you're looking for as a silhouette. Or if it's a logo, you may have success. But your best bet is to find an image that has a solid black or solid color and is outlined by another color, in this case, black and white. You can do this work in Photoshop as well but I'm gonna show you the quick and easy way by using a found image. So I've searched for airplane silhouette. I'd like to go with this one here. To me, I think it's a DC-10, even though the web lists it as a Boeing, whatever. We'll click view image. I'll save the image down. And folks, do remember where you're saving. This does count because you need to find it in just a few seconds. So I'll save that as DC-10. Now I'm off to find a website that will convert this for me. These file conversion websites tend to vary both in their quality and whether or not they're blocked by individual networks. So your best bet is to search for something like, I'm showing you in the search bar, JPEG to SVG, and then try them. The second one that pops up, online-converting.com, has worked for me. Your mileage may vary, folks try it first. I'll click the link and I want to choose my file. Remember I asked you to remember where you saved it. There's a reason for that because we need to go find it right now. There it is DC-10. Open it up. Scroll down a wee bit past all the ads and look for a button labeled convert file. And there we go. Success. Convert. And it automatically pops up with a download window. Again, make sure you know where you're saving it. You're going to need this in a minute. I'll save it down. Back to Tinkercad. Now, underneath the Favorites option on the right-hand toolbar, there's another option labeled Import. Click the drop-down, and let's go and choose our file. And again, we now have our original DC-10 image, but notice there's a new one, DC-10.svg. That's the converted file. Life is good. Let's open it up. Now, before you just click import, do yourself a favor, folks. Take a look at the scale option. What I've learned is that you want to drop the scale to 10%. Otherwise, the image may exceed the limitations of Tinkercad's importability, or it may just be so large you can't manage it. Let's import. And wait for it. Keep waiting. It's saving. There we go. There's our image. And now you can modify this image within Tinkercad, incorporate it into other designs, work your magic. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And have a great day.